Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to my channel. This week we are continuing the saga of the Miami International Boat Show Boats with round two, which is going to be the Dufour 48 uh, Catamaran. Uh, I have a lot of things to say about this boat. I think it's interesting in that you don't see a new line of production catamarans come online uh, very often. Though we've seen a, a couple launches in the past few years, but I'm going to keep the intro short. And if you're curious, I'll have the full spec sheet in the description. So thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoy the tour. All right, so we're here back at the Miami Boat Show doing a tour of the Dufour Catamarans 48. Uh, nobody asked for this video, but I'm doing it anyway because I saw it and I think it's novel. It's probably one of the more interesting production boats that's exhibiting here at the show. And I should note for legal reasons that Dufour Catamarans is different from Dufour Monoholes, which are over there. But um, yeah, they're separate companies now. I guess the you know the guy wanted to go his separate ways, so that's that. So getting back to the actual boat, um, you got a life raft on the side. You've got a pair. Uh, you've got a swing down davit, so that folds down just like the leopard that we just did. I'll give you a nice shot of the bridge deck here. Those of you who are interested in that. Got a folding swim ladder here. I like the nice high gunwales as you're boarding. That's cool. Down here is the uh, port uh, starboard mechanical space, but we'll look at the uh, the port side later. I'll give you a quick uh, sneak peek of the cockpit, but we'll go forward first. This boat, as you can see, does have a flybridge. You know, it's a 48 footer, so I guess the decision was made to give it a proper flybridge. All right, up on the foredeck, you've got a, not not a particularly big trampoline, and more of a token trampoline, and a fiberglass bowsprit, or lingeron, I should say. A pair of day beds, and there's no there's no storage under here, I'm told. And you've got your chain locker and a windlass in here. I'll open that up real quick so you can see. tankage, water tank. Got, sorry, you've got your bow seats on either side. We'll look at the lines of this boat. Kind of reminds me of uh, sort of a cross between Peugeot and Lagoon in terms of uh, coach roof styling. You've got four, four sets of these uh, walkable solar panels. They're fl flat solar panels, not, not a you know, glass type. Self-tacking jib. And, and uh, this boat is actually single spreader, amazingly enough, but uh, the spreader that they do have is pretty beefy, sorry. Uh, I, don't wanna, I don't wanna point us directly into the sun, so we'll have to walk back here a bit. Yeah, yeah, actually let's, I'm doing this a bit off the cuff, so let's actually go to the flybridge right now. So you've got a lot of seating all along the flybridge. A nice little table here. This boat is pretty good on options, I'm told. You've actually got a pair of Antal winches here, so that's nice. I like Antal winches. A little better quality than your average, uh, your average uh, Harkin or Lumar, in my opinion. Here's your helm station. It's got Raymarine, a nice double wide bolster seat. And yes, this does, this, this seat does fold back or forward. So yeah, the quality here is not, it's not terrible. Um, I wasn't told what the boat is cored with, so I'll have to figure that out later and uh, flash it on screen right now. So I don't, sorry, I don't know a whole lot about the construction of this. We'll step down back on the other side and out of the sun so we can take a look at the rig. And it is single spreader, but this rig is, uh, this, this shroud is pretty beefy. So. All right. And as you can, uh, you probably can't see it on video, but it's a two piece mast. It's riveted together in the center. You've got your radar up there as well. 
So we can step through this little companionway into the cockpit. We've got a U-shaped uh, seating area with an island and a teak table. More seating on the stern side, a grill on that side, and a day bed beneath us. Should do the, yeah, yeah, I said I would do the mechanical space now. This boat is Volvo, actually. So, all right, coming back after that cut, because no one can open a mechanical door, uh, space door, one-handed. This boat is Volvo engine, and the rudder is, the rudder is at the post is forward of the sail drive. Um, I mean, I'm here, I'm not saying that the access is amazing, but you can just kind of sit down on here and, you know, work on the engine like that. I guess that's how it's envisioned to be done. And your starter batteries are on this little shelf here. It's good to see. We'll press on into the interior of the boat where uh, things have already been pretty neat, but uh, they'll think get even a bit more interesting. So on the interior of the boat, we have a U-shaped galley that faces aft toward the cockpit. We've got an island here with storage that uh, the compression post runs into. I don't think anyone would be silly enough to commit the sin of a freestanding compression post in this day and age. We've got a interesting setup here. The uh, team out front has uh, assembled this nice pallet uh, thing, a display with all the options you can have on the boat. It's really nice, so we'll give them their time in the spotlight. You've got a pair of fridge and freezer down here, and facing forward you've got a nav station, as well as a seating area, and I like the seating area a lot. It's, it, feels, it feels really cozy. So yeah, interesting way to uh, divide up the space on the salon. Now, the interesting thing about uh, this boat is unlike most of the other catamarans at the show, it's a four cabin. This boat was actually, actually currently is still in charter, so uh, props to them for having the balls to enter a uh, non-owner version into the show. But I guess perhaps just owner versions aren't available in North America yet. Like I said this is pretty, uh, pretty recent brand, so you've got the first head in here. This is a four cabin, four head layout. So this boat has been in charter for about two years and you know, it looks really nice. So also note that you've got a sliding door on, uh, on this cabin and all the other cabins do have doors so they all can be enclosed. You've got kind of a day head uh, down here. And the forward berths on this uh, cat are athwartship berths. And actually, I believe, yeah, this is this is the true dedicated head for this cabin. And then we'll pop over and finish up in cabins number three and four. But stop first in the galley, you notice you've got a uh, uh, stove here, a four burner, uh, sorry, uh, oven there, a four burner stove there, and a dual basin sink. Here's the second aft cabin. Nice, you've got storage off to the side here, and a window with some sliding covers. The third head with a wand shower, sink and vanity. Whoops. <laughs> and the final uh, fourth cabin. So actually, my bad, this is actually a five cabin, five head boat. Or sorry, five ca five, four cabin, five head boat. Interesting layout. I don't think I've ever seen a four cabin, five head boat. Maybe the Leopard, uh, Leopard 58 qualifies for that, but not all that common. And the storage options in your uh, 
average cabin. You've got, sorry, uh, two lockers up front, up top, and two bigger lockers below. So that'll wrap it up for the Dufour 48, uh, Dufour Catamarans 48, technically. Um, yeah, so probably the weirdest production boat at the show, but uh, definitely worth a look. So if you're interested in this boat, please check the full contact info in the video description. Uh, as always, if you like the video, leave a like. If you dislike the video, leave a dislike, uh, leave a comment, or leave your thoughts below. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.